Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you a few super easy yet super impressive event hair looks for those summer weddings, bachelorette, and all those summer parties that we love, that we love to attend. And I'm going to be featuring them on my brand new Hair VV wig. I love this wig. I am next level feeling myself today. If you have alopecia and haven't worn or tried a wig yet, maybe this is the year to try it. I discovered wigs during the height of my alopecia struggles and they really are my superpower. They make me feel absolutely incredible on the days that I choose to wear them. And today is one of those days. Let's get started. What makes this wig truly amazing in my opinion, and trust me, I have tried a lot of different wigs, is how natural the front looks around your face. And there are a few reasons why it looks so natural. For one, it has a pre-plucked hairline, as you can see here. They use something called a hair ventilation approach to ventilate a natural density transition for the hairline. You can see how it starts sparse and gets fuller, which is exactly what our natural hairline does and what many wigs don't do and that's what makes many wigs on the market look so wiggy. Another cool thing is that they use HD lace imported from Switzerland. It is thin, soft, delicate, breathable and it really does melt right into the skin to create an undetectable effect. You can wear this wig with glue or without glue. There's an elastic band and a comb on the inside to provide extra security. In 2021 they also applied a new technology to give the lace front a more defined curve so that the hairline can lay perfectly even with without glue. And as if it couldn't get better than that, there's also a pre-made fake scalp, which makes it look even more realistic. Overall, the knots are already bleached for you. The hairline's already plucked for you. The lace quality is amazing. 10 out of 10, this wig rocks. All right, so let's start with some hair prep so that you can learn how I created these really beautiful waves. If you wanna skip straight to the styling portion, go to this timestamp. For this style of wave on hair that is this long, I like to work with a one and a quarter inch curling iron. This one is by the brand T3. I'm going to curl each section towards the middle of the back of the head, which is another way of saying curl each section away from the face. I'm going to clamp the iron at the root of the hair so that we get even heat distribution and I'm going to move it down the head until I get about one inch from the bottom. Then I'm going to unravel it and pull the iron straight down to straighten out the end. This will give you a much more modern and current shape than if you curl it all the way down to the the ends. Now we just move along section by section doing the exact same thing making sure that when we get to the sides we curl away from the face. When the curls have cooled down, brush them all the way through with a wide tooth comb and you can spray a bit of texture spray to bulk it up a bit if you want. I will leave all the products that I use in the description box just in case you're curious. Off camera, I took a minute to put my wig on and I glued it down and this is what it looks like. If you want to know how I glue my lace wig down in five minutes, leave me a comment about it and I will make you a video on it. For hairstyle idea number one, I'm going to scoop up the crown and place it in a little elastic. I gently pinch out the crown for volume. Then I'm going to take the side sections and place them in small elastics as well. Now turn those side pieces in on themselves. This is called a topsy tail just for your reference. Then take those topsy tails and feed them through the middle section. Look at how adorable this is. If you are extra like me, you can also add an accessory here. I'm going to start hairstyle number two the same way as number one by putting that crown in an elastic and pinching out the volume. Then I scoop out the side sections and secure them in the middle as well. What you want to do now is topsy tail it, twist it once, twist it twice, and feed that crown area ponytail through it. Again, this is incredibly adorable and so easy. I actually do this in my natural hair as well, and if you're interested, you can watch that tutorial right here. I will leave a link to it in the pinned comment. What do you guys think? Would you attempt number two? Now I always have a favorite, and hairstyle number three is it. Section out that crown and then clip it away. Create a small ponytail underneath it, use the side sections and secure that. 
topsy tail the top pony, then feed the bottom pony through the topsy tail. Oh my goodness, look at this. Is this not seriously the most beautiful look ever? I love this so much. I think it's stunning, like bridal level beautiful. Now I'm gonna show you a way to wear this in a low ponytail because wigs can be worn in low ponytails or even updos and still look undetectable. I'm gonna put my hair into three low ponytails, leaving out some framing at the front. If you want your wig to look completely natural, you do need a little bit of framing around the face. All you wanna do is split those side ponytails in half and feed the middle pony through it. The front here clearly needs to be cut to frame out the face. So I just do that by establishing my chin as my guide and slide cutting down. I then wave it with the same technique as I did before, leaving those ends straight so it doesn't look outdated. And there you have it, a super soft crisscross event ponytail. In this final look, I wanna show you how to transition this into an updo. All you have to do is split your ponytail in half and twist it and secure it at the base with an elastic. If you don't tie it off at the bottom, it's actually much harder to pin because it's going to want to unravel. Twist it up and around and pin it by sticking the bobby pins into the base without opening them. If you open them, you will collapse the shape of the bun. If you keep it closed, you will still secure it without distorting the bun's shape. Do the exact same thing to the other side and then add an accessory of your choice. I love this look. I think it is so elegant. It looks super complex, but it's actually quite easy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like and share this video with any of your friends that may need some new event hair ideas or any of your friends that have alopecia are struggling with hair loss and are thinking about getting a wig. If you have any questions for me, leave them in the comment section. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.